Okay, everyone, we have something a little bit different tonight. I'm back at the farm where I've been working on that 18-foot uh, car trailer. The power is out at my place. We're currently having a thunderstorm, and this is about three miles away from my house. But we're going to cover a little bit on this gear again because there were some comments about this being a two-piece gear. I assure you... This is not two pieces. This is a one piece gear. And the part number, like we covered in the last video, appears to be a 5M4239. Same part number, a little less legible. But in here, you can see where it is machined as one piece that is not pressed in. This is not pressed into here. That is all one piece. So if you zoomed in here, you can see there is a radius in there. And that radius is from when that cutter came in on the lathe, bottomed out, and then they went the other way with it, or vice versa, came in from the top, and then pulled out the side. That is not a square shoulder like what you would find in two pieces pressed together. I know some people said between the gears. Those are radius cuts. This is a one piece gear, not two pieces. So I hope we can finally agree on that. Okay, on to the camshaft here. We're gonna talk about it just a little bit and then we're gonna start cleaning on it and seeing kind of what we can get figured out with these back two lobes. Just make sure that rust is gonna clean up. I really hadn't planned on starting to clean parts yet but it's something that still needs to be done anyway. And this will just verify that we have a good usable camshaft. One thing that got brought up in the comments was on these lobes here, how there is a flat spot. And they asked if that was normal or if that is um, like excessive wear and starting to wear the lobe out. Uh, per Squatch 253, that is normal. I don't remember which one is intake and which one is exhaust, but if you look, these two for number one, we have a flat one here, point, point, flat, coming farther back, we have another flat, point, point, and flat. So uh, I would guess that is exhaust valve. Just based on the fact that it, the intake on the uh, head only has two ports going into it, which would be these two right here, or I should say these four with those two ports, and then the exhaust has three ports, which would be your center two and then your outside two. So I would bet that these flat ones here are for your exhaust ports or your exhaust valves. So with some brake clean on a rag, we're going to go over all surfaces, especially where the bearings run and where the lifters ride on the lobes, but also clean in between. You'll see the amount of dirt and grit we'll get off of there. So I'll keep cleaning this and I'll bring you back. There we do have a part number. Looks like a 2A3312. I don't have my books with me tonight, or we would see how long they ran that part number, if that stayed true through the entire RD4 series. But I'll keep cleaning, and I'll bring you back. Okay, with the initial wipe down completed, we'll give you a lot better view of what I'm seeing here. 
as far as pitting goes. I know in the last video we talked that we're still below where this lifter will start to actually see pressure from this cam lobe. So I'm not too worried about it. But since we have it out, I'm going to use more of the Scotch Bright, just the red Scotch Bright, and see if we can't get that cleaned up and see if we can bring some shine back to this. Almost looks like it's got maybe just a light layer of rust. Kind of almost looks like bluing. But we'll get that cleaned up. And we'll keep working our way down every journal as well as every lobe. So all I sprayed on there was just a lubricant, just to kind of flush away any debris or any chips or anything we might, you know, scrape up or off. And when I do this, I just go on a 45 degree angle or close to, work my way around, and then I'll go on a 45 degree angle the other way, basically working in an X pattern just to clean these up. As you can see, we're starting to get dirt built up in there. That's why I cut these into smaller strips, easier to use. Once they get kind of filled up, you can either flip them over or cut a new strip. We're starting to get rid of our lubricant here, not a whole lot of it left. And then just to kind of see what sort of progress I'm making. Must have been rust. There's is there's quite a bit of pitting in there, but that'll be all right. Like everyone says, it's just more places for oil to stay trapped in there. More lubrication. So we'll move on to the questionable lobe here. I guess I shouldn't call it questionable anymore. We basically decided it's not an issue anymore. There you can see a lot of the rust. So as you can see here, we're clean for to about this lobe here. I might come back and try and clean these stains off a little more. There's nothing to feel there, but we'll see if we can get that a little better. But this lobe is basically done. As you can see, it's kind of a dull gray. It doesn't have the shine like this one does. Uh, we're not trying to remove any material or reshape it. We're just trying to clean it here and try and get as much of that uh, rust out of there as we can, the stuff that's in the pitting. You know, if we actually roll it around, you can still see the pitting is still there. But we'll be all right, we'll make that work. With about half of the camshaft cleaned, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I got. A lot of cleaning to do yet there's not really a whole lot to show it really is just a lot of manual labor and cleaning a few of these lobes I just went over quick if I don't detect any you know major staining that I want to kind of get rid of I really don't spend a lot of time on them there's no point in taking them down to this dull gray like this um, these two were the, my main concern this back journal with the little bit of staining that it had and then cleaning all of the grime out of in between here I'll have to get like a wire brush to get in the teeth of this uh, drive gear here and then obviously I need to keep working down the camshaft 
So I know this was a little different from normal. We haven't really covered cleaning a whole lot. Uh, this will get cleaned again before install. Um, after I'm done with it here, I'll just kind of spray it down with some WD-40 just to keep it from flash rusting. And then we'll put it in a bag and kind of keep it sealed up that way. And then when we get ready to go back together, we'll pull it out of the bag, spray it down with some brake clean, give it a good once over. Uh, clean again if necessary um, Most of the time The brake clean is sufficient, but if I find more or I'm not happy with how it is We'll clean it again, and then we'll install it So hopefully the next time you guys see this is when we're going back together But I appreciate everyone who's watching following along liking the video subscribing We'll see you again next time